Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And we're here today to announce that for the third year in a row, Woodbridge is the recipient of a $7,500 grant from the North Jersey Transportation Planning Authority to help us with our Street Smart Initiative, which is simply to make sure people know to stop at crosswalks for pedestrians. We all know, we've all seen, and I just crossed the street here, coming here, and somebody almost didn't stop. It's, it's, a, it's rampant throughout you know, town, the state, the county, everywhere. People just don't pay attention to those rules. And uh, we're, this grant will help us really enforce that and make sure that people do uh, recognize what their responsibilities are. I want to introduce the uh, speakers until they speak, but those up the day is here who are not speaking to my far right, Chief Law Enforcement Officer Roy Hoppick, to his left, uh, uh, Woodbridge Township Police Department uh, Director Bob Hubner, to his left, Karen Barnes, the Executive Director of the Woodbridge Chamber of Commerce, to my immediate right, Third Ward Councilman Corey Spiller, to my left, Kyle Anderson, and Councilman at Large, and the rest of the people here are speakers. So let me start by calling up the Chairman of the North Jersey Transportation Planning Authority, Mary Murphy, to say a few words. Mary? Thank you very much. As you heard, my name is Mary Kay Murphy, and I'm the Executive Director of the North Jersey Transportation Planning Authority, or NJTPA for short. We're the Metropolitan Planning Organization that serves Northern and Central New Jersey. I first of all want to thank you all for being here this morning and really showing Woodbridge's dedication to making sure that Woodbridge continues to be street smart. We've worked with your staff there, thank you so much, and your police department, and they've all been supportive in so many ways. The success of this program really depends on local commitment. To that, we've had couldn't have asked for better partners. We've had great success early in the early rounds of Street Smart. As the mayor mentioned, this is our third time back here in Woodbridge, and it's really making a difference. I'm sure you'll see even more this round of raising awareness time and time again how important it is for pedestrians to be safe. I'd also like to thank our partners, those whose assistance and, of course, whose funding as the mayor mentioned, makes this all possible. And they include the Federal Highway Administration, NJDOT, the New Jersey Division of Traffic Safety, and New Jersey Transit. I'd also like to thank Middlesex County and Keep Middlesex Moving, your TMA that supports this area, for all their support of Street Smart and the NJTPA. Now, for those of you who haven't heard just what is Street Smart New Jersey, you might be asking. First of all, it's an incredibly important public education initiative that saves lives and prevents injuries. It's also a response to the very unfortunate fact that the Federal Highway Administration has designated New Jersey as a pedestrian-focused state. That's not a good thing. That's due to our higher than national average rate of pedestrian crashes in our state. The numbers are actually daunting. Last year, 166 pedestrians and 17 cyclists were killed in crashes with motor vehicles, according to the New Jersey State Police. And for the five-year period between 2010 and 2014, almost 750 pedestrians were killed on New Jersey's roads, and more than 17,000 were injured. Now, when you break that down over that five-year period, that's one death every two and a half days and 11 injuries every single day. This year alone, we have had 27 pedestrian fatalities in New Jersey. These numbers are staggering, and this makes this work all the more important. The goal of Street Smart is to drive those numbers down. Specifically, this campaign is to educate drivers and pedestrians about making safety their number one priority. And we're talking walking or driving. This education effort is combined with targeted enforcement. The support of local law enforcement is critical to the success of this project. The campaign directs pedestrians to do two things. To stop, well the pedestrians are, and the drivers are all supposed to check their vital signs. That's what these signs are up all around town to do. For motorists, these vital signs are obey posted speed limits and stop, that's stop as New Jersey law requires for pedestrians in crosswalks. The vital signs for pedestrians are to use those crosswalks and please, when it's a signalized intersection, wait for the walk signal. All these campaign messages are going to be on signs and you see some of the posters and banners and social media all throughout the state. And this year we've added a fifth message and it's heads up, phones down, which is focused on, of course, distracted driving, but another phenomenon we're seeing, which is distracted walking. 
people are, this is an increasingly important issue. People are walking into the street with their heads down on their phone and not paying attention to oncoming traffic. Now, when a motorist texts or look at their phone, they are so much less likely to not see a pedestrian crossing the road. A notable fact, okay, five seconds is the average time a person takes their eyes off the road while they're texting. Now, if that is a car driving 55 miles per hour, that's like traveling the length of a football field blindfolded. No one would do that. We need to stop this behavior. Now, you'll hear in a little while from Fielder tomorrow, and he's going to talk about how Street Smart is a proven success. Fielder tomorrow is here as one of the uh, members of the board of uh, NJTPA, and he's a strong proponent of, our, of this program and the others that we have in, at NJTPA. Now, one example and, that he may talk about is right here in Woodbridge. Now, the first round of Street Smart campaign was conducted here, actually, right at this place. Now, before the campaign, we found that 31% of pedestrians were crossing against the signal or not using the crosswalk. Post the campaign, that fell to 5%. Street smart and these tactics are proven success measures. When you think about it, it comes down to this. Every time a pedestrian chooses to do the right thing and wait for the signal, and every time a driver does the right thing and waits for a pedestrian crossing, our entire region becomes a little safer. Those individual decisions that we all make every single day can add up to a really huge difference. So in a nutshell, it's what streets, this is what Street Smart's all about. By educating motorists and pedestrians alike about their shared responsibilities on the road. And by reminding everyone that police are enforcing these laws in our communities and together we can save lives and prevent injuries. To the members of the media that see this and everyone else, I want to urge you to share this information. Let your viewers, your readers, let everyone know about this campaign so that they are more aware of how we can all be safer travelers. Provide them with links to the website, bestreetsmartnj.org, or go to njtpa.org. Use your social media. If your town or your community has a Facebook post or you're tweeting out, please tweet our messages. Let's help everyone get this word out. And I, of course, urge all of us here today to be aware of our own behavior while driving and walking. Lead by example. Remember that each individual can make a real difference. So once again, thank you, Mayor. Oh, there he is. Thank you to Woodbridge, the police department, the staff, and we look forward to another very successful campaign here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary. I'd now like to ask the head of our police uh, tra traffic enforcement unit, uh, Sergeant Eric Nelson, to say a few words. Thank you, Mary. Mayor. Thanks, everyone, for coming, especially Mary Kay Murphy, Free Boulder, tomorrow. None of this would be possible if not for the support of Mayor McCormick and the guidance of Director Hubner and the Coolio, Captain Hoppick, and my staff within the police department. This campaign is yet another major milestone in making Woodbridge the safest and most pleasurable place to shop, work, and live. You've got to remember, throughout the day, everybody's pedestrian. It's not just the train or bus commuters. It's also the people who patronize the local restaurants, the stores, the post office, the banks, the coffee shops. Pedestrian safety affects everyone. The enthusiastic cooperation between the municipal agencies and keep Middlesex moving and the local businesses, the Chamber of Commerce, is second to none. We all have the same goal, which is to keep everyone safe. Thank you again for supporting our efforts, and special thanks to my staff for every day doing everything they can in regards to traffic safety. They come in every day, day after day, work 24-7 to try to keep the residents and visitors safe. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Mary referred several times to our freeholder, Charlie Tamaro of Edison, being on the authority, so I'd like to ask Charlie now to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor, and welcome to the greatest county in the land. And remember, there are 25 towns in this county, and there is a tie for first place, Woodbridge and Edison. I'm happy to be here today on behalf of the Middlesex County, as well as the NJTPA, where I serve as a county's representative. I'd like to congratulate and thank Mayor McCormick, the Woodbridge Police Department, Keith Middlesex moving, and all the local school businesses and residents who are working hard to make the streets safe for, for pedestrians. 
Woodbridge was one of the first towns in New Jersey to participate in the Street Smart campaign, setting an example for the entire county to follow. I am pleased to note that Metuchen is also conducting a Street Smart campaign, which started last Friday, showing that the program is gaining the popularity in the county. And I want to thank Mary Kay for making Metuchen part of that uh, grant funding, uh, which is, Metuchen is very similar to Woodbridge in their downtown. Middlesex County and NJTPA have a long-standing commitment to making safety our number one transportation priority. Over the years, we've often focused on construction projects that improve safety, but it also becomes increasingly clear that education and enforcement are an important part as engineering is. It's important to note that NJTPA Street Smart campaign really works, as Mary Kay had stated. The results of their previous campaign here in Woodbridge and other locations show that public awareness and law enforcement working together can change people's travel behaviors and improve safety. Of course, the top priority is that fewer people are injured or killed, but there are many other benefits in improving pedestrian safety. By making it safer to walk and bike, we encourage people to get out of their cars. That's good for personal health and it helps reduce emissions and congestion. Safer streets also strengthen both local economies. They give people better access to our downtowns, allowing them to take advantage of local shops, restaurants, and entertainment. In the end, it's clear improving safety on our streets is especially for pedestrians greatly improving our overall quality of life. So on behalf of the county and NJTPA, I'd like to thank everyone who makes the campaign possible, including the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety and for their support from the Woodbridge Police Department. I applaud all you here in Woodbridge for your participation in Street Smart, and I urge other towns in the county to embrace the campaign as well. Now, let's all keep working to get the word out, tell everyone to know, to know, to be street smart, and check your vital signs. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Freeho Tamaro said there's a, a tie for first place. No, there's not a tie for first place. Woodbridge is a street smart town. Edison isn't. It's that simple. It's that simple. I'd like to now ask uh, former East Brunswick Mayor uh, Bill uh, Neary, who is the uh, head of the uh, McKee Middlesex Moving Organization, to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, East Brunswick may not be the best, but it's at least a, a very good second, and we try harder, so we're working. Uh, I, I want to take a few seconds to appreciate, once again, the Township of Woodbridge for being so innovative and so progressive on so many issues, including the importance of pedestrian safety and car drivers' awareness of what's going on in their neighborhoods and in their streets. I want to thank NJTPA for their support and their initiatives to make this all possible. But I also want to take just two minutes to talk about a little program that we're starting at KMM that's part of Street Smarts in a different kind of way. We have a, a promotion going on now called Paint the Pavement. We're asking people, high school students, college students who are creative, to design a pedestrian awareness sidewalk painting. So people can look at that as they're walking along, like they said, heads up. Hopefully something on the pavement will tell them to look up before they walk into the intersection. Uh, if communities or individual students are interested, there's cash prizes for the winning uh, pavement payment, uh, pavement, pavement paintings. It's a little program. It's not as, as a big and as great as Street Smarts is, but it's something I think is going to help make more awareness for pedestrian safety. I think everybody in the county, at Keep Middlesex Moving, NJTPA, and especially the towns who are part of this initial program are going to show success and going to make uh, pedestrian safety a priority in Middlesex County. Thank you for the opportunity, Mayor. Declaring today Street Smart Pedestrian Safety Day throughout Woodbridge Township. <laughs> and the last thing I want to say is that you got you know you got to be pedestrians have to be extra careful because I don't know how many people see this phenomenon. I see it all too frequently where you cross the street and the car looks like they're stopped for you and you think you're home free to get to the other side. 
but there's a, somebody behind that car that doesn't feel like stopping for the car in front of it, doesn't even know or can't even see that there's a pedestrian. So they scoot around them to the right or scoot around them to the left. And that is even more dangerous than not stopping the first time because the pedestrian stops paying attention many times when they get past that first car. And I've seen it far too many times, I'm sure. Everybody here uh, can raise their hand and say they've seen it too. So the extra effort that people have to spend in, in this, uh, this fight is to make sure they pay double attention when they're a pedestrian in a wide street because the first guy might have stopped doesn't mean the second one's going to and you're still at risk until you get to the other side really so once again thanks again to uh, mary for coming out from the north jersey transportation and planning authority thanks to everybody here all the woodbridge uh, police officers who are standing around just helping the effort thanks to our freeholders thanks to uh, bill neary from keep middlesex moving thanks to councilman spiller and councilman anderson and uh, karen from the chamber of commerce thank you all for watching